Oh man, am I ready to rant? Are you ready to hear some? Woo! Woo! Okay. Okay. Oh, I haven't done one of these in a while, bruh. Stretch it out, motherfuckers. All right, I'm gonna try to make this as quick as possible, but damn, I got some energy today. I've got energy, and I have a very interesting topic, and I need your help with it. I need to see some comments on this motherfucker because this is juicy. We're talking about the pharmaceutical industry versus the holistic plant approach. Cool? I'm gonna start at the beginning, and I'm gonna finish at the end. Please stay with me through the whole thing. This is the most important video I have put on this channel. It's going to be. If you don't watch any other video on the channel, I want, I please watch this one. Please share this one. This is big. This is huge. Okay, so I should have probably been more prepared then if this is gonna be the biggest thing. I'm just gonna talk. You have psychiatrists and people loving antidepressants and pills and everything on one side. Saying antidepressants are the only way, this is the only thing that's proven to work. We have these numbers, these statistics, blah, blah, blah. On this side, you have holistic people, uh, you know, natural cures folks saying, no, 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 no. You just want to make a profit, bitch. We have plants you can eat. We have fish oils. We have different, you know, fermented foods to replenish your you know, your gut shit. I don't know how it works, but that's what they're talking about. We have all sorts of things. You know, depression is an inflammation in the brain, so we need to give you those probiotics and all that, that, cool. But they're saying their way is the only way to cure mental illness. Their way is the only way. They don't look on this side at all. Pharmaceutical man and woman over here say, no, 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 no. Plants? Come on, are you kidding me? No, no, no. We manufacture this. We've tested this. This works. Screw natural cures. Antidepressants are the way to go. There's no one in the middle. Except you and me. Right? Well, we'll see what you say in the comments. That's the situation we're dealing with in this video. Let me tell you a story. A friend of mine, Michael, sent me an email and the, of uh, an article. And the article was called, Why You Should Stop Taking Your Antidepressants. It was called, Why You Should Stop Taking Your Antidepressants. So I posted it on Facebook. And I asked you what you thought. And to the five people that responded, thank you very much. You are very wise and I do agree with a lot of you. Should you stop taking your antidepressants? It was written by Kelly Borgen, a psychiatrist in the US. And I have a bone to pick with you, Kelly. I have a bone to pick. She's so good looking though. Damn. She's on this side. She's saying, stop taking antidepressants. The pharmaceutical companies are out to get you. They just want to make a profit. Take these supplements. Read my book, which I'm selling, which I will make money off of. Do it this way because every other way is wrong. Pay attention, pay attention, listen, listen, listen. Do it my way because every other way is wrong. That's what she's saying. That's dangerous. That is a very dangerous way to think. That is a very, very exhausting way to live your life. And I'll tell you why, because it's just like religion. Let's talk about religion here. Let's say I'm a, I'm a Catholic. I'm on the fence about everything. Uh, God's maybe up there. Jesus, maybe, you know, God was his dad. I don't know, but he had some pretty cool teachings. You know, I can follow that. I'm down with that. But, you know, the Muslim religion, that's really cool too. And I really dig Buddhism. You know, all these world religions are awesome. They're awesome. And there could be more than one God. The Muslim God could be the right one. I don't know. Maybe I'll read the Quran. Cool. You have evangelicals of whatever religion, let's say evangelical Christians, where they're like, our way is the right way. The Bible is the truth, baby. God wrote it. Earth was created in seven days or six days. Jesus is the son of God. Noah's Ark happened. Adam and Eve happened. Our way is the right way. All other religions are wrong. 
Weren't wars started, you know, like, from that way of thinking? Hitler thought, you know, blonde hair, blue eyes was, was a good thing. And he thought, you know, the handicapped and disabled should die. So that's what happened there. It's a dangerous way to think that your way is the only right way. It's the only way. You get tunnel vision. So whatever you look for, you try to fit the mold of your thoughts, of your past experiences, of your expectations. Of course, if you think antidepressants are the only way, you're going to find studies and you're going to find study or, you know, um, study groups that they did with large sample sizes. So it's legit, but you're going to find things that you're looking for. Oh, antidepressants worked better than the placebo on that one. That means I'm right. Check out this study, everyone. The naturopath will be like, whoa, 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 whoa. Side effects. Oh my God, you're destroying your liver taking that pill every day. It's messing up with your bowels. Oh my goodness. All of these side effects is making you lazy, making you drowsy, causing maybe more suicidal thoughts. There's a big list of side effects. They're sticking to those. They're picking and choosing based on their own framework. Based on, based on that side that they're defending. The thing with Kelly Borgen and the thing with the other side here, antidepressant dude that thinks it's the only way, and then Kelly here, they're not in the middle. They're not in the middle. And when you tell someone and you put out blogs that shun and tell people, because people are very, very, very gullible, and tell people to stop taking their medication and create a fear-based audience and create a fear-based society. That's not right. You're trying to sell your book. You're trying to preach out of fear. You're preaching fear. You're saying, if you keep taking your antidepressants, if you keep treating your mental illness this way, this is what's going to happen to you. All of these bad things. We watch the news and we're, we're, we're already a fear-based society. We're motivated by fear. So she's smart doing that. And all of these naturopaths, guys, if you think... I'm not defending the antidepressant thing either because, you know, those can be hell for people and there are experiences that are just complete shit. And they do destroy a lot of lives. But that's me talking just on this side. They also help a lot of people and I'm coming back to the middle. Same with this side. Sometimes plants and shit can't do anything. But sometimes they can and we're meeting back in the middle. Cool? But I just want to... To say, and that's what the title was about, and if you stuck with me this far, thank you for, for watching, and I, I really want to see your comments, and I'd love to read them. Um, there is no one cure. I've said it before. And this, this isn't just for, you know, the, the health talk and the health topic. This is about your way of thinking in general, just with the religious example. Just because it's your way of thinking doesn't mean it's the right way. Please open your mind to different solutions. Open your mind to other people's opinions. Don't shut anyone off before you've even listened. Don't hear them. Listen. And I swear you will be more fulfilled. You will have new perspectives and have a, a whole new view of the world. And that's what traveling does as well. You have a whole new view. You meet new people, you, you learn new things, gain new perspectives, learn lessons. So to, Ke uh, to Kelly Borgen, it's a dangerous game you're playing. And to those watching, I, meet in the middle. Meet in the middle. Namaste. See you guys around. Um, I'm going to do some more videos today. So I'll see you soon.